This is Unity, Joy of Life. I'm Nancy Norman, and this is your Weekly Wisdom. Well, I've just completed one week of self-imposed quarantine. And I don't know about you, but actually, I've been pretty productive. I decided to use this time to clean out and organize my home. So I started with my bathroom. All cabinets are clean and organized. The dressing room clean and organized. And tomorrow, I hit the kitchen. And my spices, my drawer that has everything in it will be clean and organized. I turned on my audiobook and clean away. I also have found that I have been spending time in prayer and meditation and keeping my thoughts and my feelings elevated, not allowing myself to buy into a lot of fear or gloom and doom. And you know what? We could certainly do that. We could certainly, we could certainly spend a lot of time being afraid or being concerned about what's happening or will happen. There's a wonderful Bible verse that I want to share with you today that, that talks about times like this. It's found in Joshua verse or chapter 1, verse 9. And it says, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do, do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So this is a time for us to be strong. This is a time for us to be courageous, to not be afraid, to not be dismayed, and to remember that the Lord our God is with us. Wherever we go, God is with us. In unity, we have a short little saying that says, there's not a spot where God is not. And this is a good time for us to remember that. It's a good time for us to remember to be strong and to be courageous and to know that, that our loving, magnificent God is with us every single moment of the day. Winston Churchill, during World War II, while walking through the streets of London, once observed, he said, when you're going through hell, keep on going. Well, I think we're going through a little bit of hell. And we've got to keep on going. We've got to keep our thoughts, our feelings, our, our ideas elevated. Be not dismayed. Do not be frightened. Be strong. Be courageous. You're not alone because God is with you. God is with you. Wherever you go, God is with you. So our job right now is to be wise to use wisdom, to use discernment, to use understanding, and above all, to keep our thoughts elevated. Keep our thoughts elevated. This is a time for us to maybe think about what we want our life to be. Maybe create some goals and some, some, some new, maybe we'll have a new understanding about, about how we want to live our lives. I think this time of, of quarantine, a good way to use it is, is to maybe daydream a little bit. We have time to do that now. Use our imagination and think about what we want our life to look like. You know, there was a wonderful metaphysician and mystic, early metaphysician and mystic that Wayne Dyer quotes in a book called Wishes Fulfilled. And Wayne Dyer said about using your imagination, that is the most magnificent, magnificent thing that we have, is our imagination. And he says there is power in the imagination. And what Wayne Dyer says, he says, figuratively, tattoo these words of Neville on your forehead. In other words, memorize them and repeat them to yourself every time you look in the mirror. And these are, the, these are Neville's words. Disregard appearances, conditions, in fact, all evidence of your senses that deny the fulfillment of your desire. Rest in the assumption that you are already what you want to be. 
for in that determined assumption, you and your infinite being are merged in creative unity. And your creative being, or God, all things are possible. God never fails. That's a wonderful, wonderful idea. So make your future dream a present fact by assuming the feeling of your desire fulfilled. Spend some time with that. Spend some time with that idea. Be strong. Be courageous. Use this quarantine time to create your future life. With God, all things are possible. God bless you. And have another wonderful week.